afternoon cactus people it's uh, cooled down to about 90 degrees in the cactus house now so it's uh, much nicer than the uh, 100 odd it was earlier and we're going to have a look at the Mammillaria boccasana which is a, a bit of a favourite of some of you uh, especially our, our viewer Just Fades she knows who she is and she appears to love them uh, as do I, they're lovely little plants Let's start off with having a look at um, some seedlings that were potted up. I think these are about two years since these were potted up. And you can see the, the multi-colours they come in. They come in a dark pink and a slightly lighter pink and a, a cream colour. And I did try separating out the seeds to see which, if they came from one particular plant, but they got mixed up, so not really sure there. Uh, <coughs> these were um, previous year's seedlings only potted up um, a month or so ago by Mrs Ziggs that's how she did uh, several well, hundreds hundreds of pots of these and some parodias as well and these are flowering already which is um, absolutely lovely this is one of the few um, mammal areas that will start flowering and it will just carry on. It will probably be still flowering in about September time. As you can see, this is a green coloured one that I keep in the cactus house. Um, I left these um, little slimy trails on to um, remind me to point out that slugs absolutely love these. Slugs and snails, they can smell them. And uh, although they've got very nasty hooked spines on them, if a slug or a snail can find a way through those, it will eat out the heart of the plant overnight. So I went into the um, polytunnel a couple of years ago, and one had got through the defences somehow, and these plants were just hollowed. Uh, there was nothing left of them. Uh, so bear that in mind if you um, if you find the, the slug trails on them then that's because they can smell them and they're looking for a way in so uh, tonight I shall be out again looking for um, slugs after dark with the torch there's um, one or two in the greenhouse in the cactus house that I can't find I keep finding the trails I keep finding they've been on the plants and at the moment they just eat the petals off the plants which they haven't done on this one which is good um, but like I say, they could cause a lot of damage if left unchecked, especially in September when the slugs have got a lot bigger. So, um, right, that's uh, some other younger ones. And this one, this is one that um, badly needs repotting. It's been in the polytunnel and I really need to repot this one. And I thought I'll do a video because it's not as straightforward as the uh, repotting of the cacti. Uh, I've got this pot here, <coughs> uh, I'll put a crock in the bottom and I've also measured up it's just about the right size to fit straight in there. Uh, but this one, like I said earlier, it's not one that you want to touch because these hook spines on here, they will grab hold of flesh, they grab hold of knitted jumpers, cardigans, anything. And they, what will happen is the spines will actually get pulled out of the cactus and damage the cactus um, rather than it letting go of your flesh or the whatever it's hooked into. So you have to take a bit of extra care with these. One method of doing it, which I would do if it wasn't in flower, would be to put another flower pot over the top and tip it and then just pull the flower pot off at the bottom. Um, which works fine you've, you're using that to hold you could wrap something around it but again it, um, the spines will stick into most things uh, but doing it like that you could then pull that pot off and repot like that I'm not going to do that today I'm just showing you that uh, that's a possibility um, today I'm going to try to do the sort of chopstick method uh, get a couple of sticks and I've already loosened it up in the pot a little bit just by turning and tipping it. So if we can get these sticks in so they're supporting the plant and then loosen from underneath. I can feel that that's moving already. So now get this pot nearby 
and hopefully this will work. <laughs> it's uh, famous last words. Just hold him up. I've got this supported in this hand now, and just take the pot off. Yeah, it's coming off fine. So I'm not going to strip the um, roots down at the moment. I'm not worried about uh, inspecting the roots. Just get it into that pot, and that that's fine. That's that's just fitted. It may become up a little bit, but um, not too worried. Uh, I've got some zinc number one and grit here. So we're going to put a bit of that around. We'll try and get a little bit under it. Could do with coming up just a, a tiny amount. Not a great deal. I'm hesitant to put my fingers in there in case it grabs hold of me. I'm sure a lot of you are thinking oh, he's making a bit of a bit of a fuss over nothing here, but uh, I don't want to damage the plant. Not too worried about me. Uh, but the plant is looking lovely at the moment, and I'd hate to mess it up for the season. So, a bit down there, just to level it up. That's fine. Looks a lot better. Now. Yeah. I won't do it on camera because it will take some time, but uh, I'll just go around, fill the, the edges in, make sure it's um, nice and firm there, and then I'll just top dress that with grit. But uh, what I have done is I brought one over from the other side, which I did a couple of years ago. This one, I think the plant is the same age. I think they're about five years old, maybe maybe a bit older, I'm not quite sure, can't remember. Um, but that one is potted up nicely and it's spread out. Uh, they do tend to spread sideways and as you can see from that one, that was getting a bit tight up against the pot. Um, they, they need room to spread sideways. You could take these off and pot these up as pups, but it would leave a bit of a scar on the main plant, so uh, I'd rather not do that. So, uh, there you go, that's uh, one already potted up and nicely done and that will be happy in that for uh, several more years I would think. Uh, it seems happy and it's not showing any signs of putting any more pups around, around the edge at the moment. Um, water once a week during the season, a um, bit of feed during the season as well, some tomato feed, dilute tomato feed. And uh, should give you uh, months and months of flowers in the, the growing season. Uh, in the autumn, um, not necessarily from this year's flowers, but possibly from the previous year's flowers, it will put out lovely long red seed pods, which I haven't got one that's got seed pods like that at the moment. But bear with me a second. should have thought about this before starting to do the video. They're very similar to this Mammillaria fraliana seed pods, um, similar in size and colour, uh, but they'll suddenly appear out of the plant and again slugs love them and mice love them too so uh, as soon as they're anywhere near ripe bear in mind that uh, the mice could have them off. Uh, but uh, that's it, that's all I've really got to say I think. Another quick peek. No, that was it. Okay, thank you very much for joining us everyone. I'll see you in the next video.